We're talking to Mikey and Alan about their brand new single. Hello, guys. Hello, how you doing? You are right, mate? Yeah, not too bad. So tell about the new single. It's called Falling In Love. What it's about is pretty self-explanatory. One of my uh, former school teachers was getting married. I initially tried to write it as a wedding song for my teacher, but that didn't end up happening. I had this, the melody in my head. I was just trying to, like, you know, put it into lyrics. Trying to write a love song that's not one of the typical <laughs> soppy ones you would hear on the radio all the time. It's not like, like, like take that on. Oh, that definitely one. not. Or, no. or Adele or anything like that. No. Something that's less predictable. Something that the people wouldn't be expecting. I had my guitar, I came up with this with this riff, if you will, and like a few, a few chords, and it came, up, it came up with the lyrics. If you heard it, heard the original demo, it just sounds more pop rock, it's just me and my guitar. And I wanted it to be a bit more, um, more a, bit, a bit more versatile, a bit more experimental. It's not just one of those tracks that everyone would hear from Ed Sheeran now and then. So I sent Aaron the, the demo, and yeah, he just it just went from there. I told him what I what I wanted. What we wanted to go for like kind of like dance, eighties R and B, pop, synth pop vibe, yeah. vibes. And Aaron started constructing some of these elements through um, Logic. And I think the first thing that he came back and said to me, he was like, "You do realize this song goes from uh, four four to six four twice, don't you?" And and I, and, 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 I, and I honestly had no idea. No, no, no idea. I didn't. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I mean, no. I'm not not a lot of modern artists today are taking no. these kind these kind of kind of risks. And also, one thing we find really frustrating is there's not a lot of songs. These today that use key changes or fade outs, and I, I feel like a lot of people today are missing that trick. Very so, far and few yeah, between. Yeah. But I put together a rough on Bandlab, and it was like the very fundamentals, but it was. <laughs> was saying it yourself, it just sounded a bit too modern. Like, oh, it just sounds like something David Guetta would put together. <laughs> you can't put me and Guetta in the same sentence. Like, it's, it's not happening. It's just not happening. Aaron um, over, I think overestimated how hard it was going to be. Like, you know, he obviously had experience with like making all this these electronic dance mm. music. But what I had to kind of do was kind of push him out of his comfort zone to kind of like, like get into a different kind of mindset and a different kind of st style and a different kind of direction. It was definitely something out of my comfort zone, as, as mentioned before. I was making primarily a lot of dance music, a lot of modern stuff, so I knew this was going to be a challenge logistically because I can get the rhythm down, I can lay down chords, other aspects like extra bells and additional leads that have their own little motifs that kind of play throughout. Um, that was kind of something we needed additional help for. We, we went from demo to demo, like we went back and forth with the with forth with this track with different mm. different things. And each time I would say to Aaron, "You're missing that melody, that uplifting melody." So we had to get three session musicians on board. First two we got Amy Ray and Jordan Bridges. They added some great stuff, great great Good. great stuff to it. But it's still, but it was still still it was quite lacking. lacking. And then mm. we got our friend Brian Leslie he played um, played guitar. He played keys, and he added that little sax thing as well. And when he added that. That everything was just 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 there. Of course, there, there may have been a few like things we had to adjust, like with the, in terms of mixing. But overall, it was it was there. This whole this whole track is just like a combination of all these great '80s artists, all these great '80s songs and stuff we love. Yeah. But done right. So uh, where can we find you on socials? You can find me on um, fa fa Facebook, facebookcom slash Brennan, Twitter at twittercom slash Brennan, Instagram.com slash Brennan and YouTube is. Michael Mikey Brown. You can find me on Facebook at DJ Azza, on Instagram at Azza Fisher Music, on TikTok at That One Music Lab, and you can also find me on YouTube at Aaron Tatham. Thank Cheers, you. thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.